It's time for me to play. I'm just gonna get into this. I can't wait any longer. Beloved Gala region is a wonderful place with a thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. The elephant! Guys, it's time we address the elephant in the room. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. And yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, the sky, and even with us in our towns. They might even be in your bedroom closet, be careful. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon Trainers. I like the, uh, I forget the elephant's name, but it's got a, a fun octopus butt. <laughs> Yeah, the crowd goes wild! But I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gates to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion, me! <laughs> champion Leon is, is ex- okay, fine, whatever. Oh my god, they blew up the city. Okay, that was cool. I was not expecting him to just materialize. Raven Fire Gaming and Jake HD, thank you guys so much for sending. I really appreciate that. Ooh! Strike a pose, man. I'm surprised he didn't dab. Oh, what are they doing? Who is this guy? Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today. You know I don't lose battles, Raihan. Ooh! This is a very cool, like, trash talking. Oh, hello. Hello. Leon, you clearly don't know Pokemon. That is obviously a Gigantamax Charizard. Woo! The entrance of the logo. Let's go. The intro scene is not that important. I'm very excited. Oh, look at me. I'm on my phone. I guess that's realistic. Hello, hello. What's up, Hop? Oh, that's your Flash new phone? Flash? Flashy, I thought was the word. Were you watching Lee's exhibition at match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. Now the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. The deep dab. No. Oh, is that my mom? She does not look like a mom. But that's kind of the case with like most Pokemon moms is they look the same as the rest of the characters. Ah, oh, but I didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, it's exactly why I came running over to get Michael. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Do you not have Netflix? Come with me, Michael. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. I've got to run. See it. See it mine later. I was going to say see you at the mine. It's like, are we getting our starter Pokemon deep within the... Okay, I have seen footage. Ha ha! Oh, that sound effect! I when I saw a video of that, I thought the sound effect was added by like an, a random person. Hello, mother. What is this? This is my bedroom. Wow, no privacy. Not a fan of that. All right. All right, all right. Oh, it's my dad's old bag. Aw, that's that's sweet. I'm so handsome. Open the X menu by pressing X. Okay, so there's autosave and manual save. Okay, there's not just autosave. All right. Dope. Is there anything fun in here? A plush of the Pokemon Pikachu. Like, I don't know that. Oh, hi, Mom. Uh, just so you guys know, it seems this video- this- this game is dense full of, like, British slang, much of which I don't know. So if I, like, say things wrong or weird or get confused by some of the language, I apologize. Oh! Whoa! It does the town map on the loading screen? That's kind of cool. Is that a Wooloo next to him? Wooloo have quite the size variety. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Or what does it say? Badoo do. Uh-huh. It said doo doo. Haha, <laughs> I'm here to help with the slang. Good to know. Hey, have a look at you, Michael. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. It actually does. That is, that is not a, that's not an unrealistic observation. At least we know it should hold anything Lee might bring. Even it's as big as a Snorlax. That's what, 
That's what Pokeballs are for. What are you talking about? A Wooloo. What's it doing here? They're clearly everywhere, Hop. <laughs> like, sad. We should stop it from hurting itself. No going past that fence. No. Bad Wooloo. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weld? Weald? This is genuinely a word I have never seen before. Meh? All right, guess we're just gonna leave the Wooloo to give itself head trauma. How about it, Michael? Let's race, but I can make it to my house first. What with you laying around that big old bag and also you knowing where it is? Well, hello, Wooloo. Don't hurt yourself, please. Look at a Wooloo rolling. <laughs> wow, this is gorgeous. People say this game looks bad. They are simply incorrect. Hello, happy man. Wow, you are tall. The power of science is amazing! There he is. I could battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around! Isn't that super amazing? It is, but I probably have to get Pokemon first. Alright, the Wulu are blocking that path, so I'm assuming this is Hop's house. I like how the fridge has a little LC LCD? LED? One of the two. It's got a little fancy display. Mom! Should I give everybody a British accent? I feel like that's gonna get tiresome after a while. Mom, is he air? No, okay, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> there you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you've brought along Michael. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in the cupboard? You're still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. If you ever want to be a doctor, you must learn to care for patients. Probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Wedgehurst? Ooh, is that a new kind of cheese sausage? Because it's a wedge of cheese combined with bratwurst. And that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'm sure he'll... Ma I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Will you? That's... That's probably is for the best, honestly. That, he is genuinely hopeless. You gotta come with me, Michael. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. Okay. I'll wait for you on the route. This is a door that does not function. Ooh. Hey, there's a purloin. Hello. We're going to mess around in the house. Is this his ha is this his room? <laughs> he has lots of hats and a little sit up thing. This is kind of fun. What a nice room, Leon. You're the undefeated champion of the world and a huge celebrity and you still live at your mom's house. <laughs> this is Hops. Oh, those posters are cool. Oh, look at this this poster of all the... Not all, but a lot of the Pokeballs. That's really cool. That white one with the blue dot in the center. I don't recognize that. Interesting. Alright. Enough house exploration. Top, his brother is a superhero. Look at those. That's cool. What a lovely family. Leon really should get his own place, though. Man, they have a little pond and everything. God, I can't... this looks so good. <laughs> Let's get a move on! Only remember, Michael, wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready to battle against wild Pokemon, of course, but not you, Michael. No. You are a feeble, weak loser. Oh, Route 1. Ooh. Can't go that way. Not even gonna try. He'll just stop me. Is there more grass this way? Yeah, there is. Yep, yeah, okay, I knew he would stop me. I got too close. Here's Leon. With his rid ridiculous fashion sense. <laughs> the least realistic part about this scene is that they're not trying to rip, like, pieces of his clothes off or his hair. Hello, hello, Wedgers! Your champion Leon is back! I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion! Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest! Well, huh, thank you for that. I hope you'll all carry on training after Pokemon and never be shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. You'll lose, of course, because you're all garbage randos, but, you know, you can try. We're on it! We've all been working hard on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee! That Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true, the Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. My wish is for Gallus trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Ooh, uh, want, does he want to, like, start a war or something? <laughs> Lee! 
Pop! So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. Uh, I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, eh, Lee? Sharp eye but can't navigate a straight road. <laughs> These bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Michael, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. The Galar Region's greatest ever Pokemon champion. He's very humble. And a massive Charizard fan, too. Yeah, of course you are. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you, Michael. I bet I can beat the both of you back home. Uh... Do you honestly think you could beat Leon? Me? Yeah, I don't even have a Pokemon. Uh, that Hawk. Always wanted to be the best, isn't he? A proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Spoilers! That's going to be me! Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. Don't you fret! I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have, cha have a champion time. That's... strange... things. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it! You brought Michael and me Pokemon, you did, didn't you? I know, you must have! Right then, the greatest gifts from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. <gasps> it's Grookey! It's Scorbunny! It's Sabo! Oh, this is a cool little scene they got. Oh, that was cute. Uh-oh. Oh, poor Sobble. All right, line up, everyone. Which will you choose? Oh, I'm so bright-eyed. That's me. All right, guys. It's time to reveal my final decision for who I will be selecting. Will it be Grookey, the monkey, Scorbunny the bunny, or Sabo the lizard? It's Score Bunny! There are multiple reasons for this. Uh, its final evolution is the one that I... I don't love it, but I find it the least bad. <laughs> also, uh, Jubilee picked Sobble last night, so I want to pick a different one. Um, and also, I have not picked... A, the fire starter in the first uh, like playthrough of a region since Typhlosion in Soul Silver, my first playthrough of Johto. So it's bunny time. I chose Score Bunny. I would like to give it a nickname. Um, it is a boy. So let's call it. I don't know what to call it. I meant to come up with nicknames ahead of time and neglected to do so. So, now I have to think of something. Maybe like, I'm gonna call him Wildfire. Oops, not Will's Fire. I, I wanna go with like the theme of nicknames that sound like they could be superhero names. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Oh yeah, fist bump, brother. <laughs> So it'll be Score Bunny for you? Nice one! And I'll go with Grookey. Oh, he chooses the weaker starter. I was actually expecting him to pick the stronger one. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Greetings, Wooloo. I bet you will be, Hop. So I brought along these Pokemon for you and Michael. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. To try to reach me and fail. Oh! What does Sabo gonna do? And you'll come with me. Oh! Is he gonna have Sabo on his team when I battle him? All right, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Ooh, yummy, yummy. 
Yeah, hop, cheer on those kebabs. <laughs> Spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting along? Getting on all right. Understanding one another? Even built up a bit of love. It's a little weird. Uh, of course I have, Lee. Michael's made fast friends with his score bunny, too. Listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. Man, I am really looking forward to kicking your butt, Leon. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one he'll be coming to challenge you. I think Michael might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. I hate you now. Uh, I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. People, proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Now, when you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hop, you have a sheep and a tiny monkey. Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Actually, I've been reincarnated from several generations of, uh, battlers. So, uh, this is not my first one. Do those two things. Oh, I clicked too early, and I don't know what two things he said to do. Uh, let's hope we don't mess this up. More importantly, now have a champion time with... A champion. I keep like getting weirded out by him using champion as an adjective. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine. Is this Deku talking about All Might? <laughs> he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Fool, well, then you should have chosen Sable. Ooh, our first battle theme. Oh man, it's two on one. Oh no. Yeah, I can see that hop. Alright, fight! Wow, alright, no ember this time. The ruler's only level three, so that's good. Oh, we take those. Ooh, was that a crit? That did a lot more. All right. Oh! That was cool. It like, glowed, like, it, it glowed whatever, it glowed blue it, before like being sucked back up. That was really cool. Oh, that's, Okay, I see what they do here. <laughs> they go, they they have the, they give the, make the Wulu give you enough experience to give you Ember. <laughs> wow. Do I already know about type advantages? Grookey's got... I guess it's because Ember's a special attack and I'm a physical attacker. We got the burn! Haha! -ha! Alright, this is over. I love it when I get the. When I get the burn. Do starters have signature moves now? Haven't they had signature moves like every generation for a while? <laughs> All right, man, look at that attack stat. Hey, a physical fire move ASAP. You my two Pokemon with your one? Give me that score bunny, you're too much. That's correct. I am excessive in every way possible. That was a shock. Guess I now know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. And you also want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Leon, you would kill our Pokemon. Please do not do that. Good effort out there, Score Bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Michael, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push it. Make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Leon. So come on, you gotta let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You? You're in the gym challenge? Think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. Haha. <laughs> Haha. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. 
especially your friend Michael. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn. Okay, yeah, we know what a Pokedex is. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes. All right, we'll go. Looks like we're off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Michael. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the pre professor know to expect you. Gonna be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing to me. Will be a uh, just another page. Oh, that's a crappy nature. Oh well. Not the end of the world. All right, onward. What the hell was that? Did you hear that just now? Oh, did the Wulu finally get through the freaking gate? Lol. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. What do you say? We've got to save it. Right. Even if we're not supposed to. It's the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. We will be heroes. Something, something, something. Actually, I think the, the following lines are ooh, 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 ooh. A British accent for this playthrough? Oh, this is cool. Oh, I dig this music. Oh my gosh, this is a scary place? It's so peaceful. No British accent? I was worried I'd have trouble sticking with it and that it might get annoying. <laughs> Lulu, where do you think it got off to? Oh, I really... I dig this music. I'll find the Pokemon soon that might be in trouble. Will we will save thee. No. Ooh. <gasps> A Squovit! Hello, little squirrel boy! I don't have any Pokeballs still, right? I don't know why I checked. We just have to kill it. Die. Oh, I want to make Ember at the top. Good to know that we take those very easily. Money. That's all the experience I got? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Ooh. Oh man, I'm using Corviknight on my team. I need one of these ASAP. Can't catch this one, because, you know. Oh, a crit. Nice. You know, I kind of like the very, like, minimalist in battle graphics. You know, they don't distract from the battle, which is nice. That was that a Pokemon crying out? Do you think? Man, you just heard me battling a rookie. Dude. We're fine. A wild squirrel bet. Uh, I don't really want to fight you, to be entirely honest. So we're going to run. This fog. This is so cool. Whoa. Oh my gosh, wow. I genuinely can't see where I'm going. That is so awesome.
Run away. I can't run away from- what? This is crazy! What? This is so cool! Burn the fog? I don't- <laughs> This is basically like a interactive cutscene. Oh my gosh. I can barely see Score Bunny's ears. Wow, that was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it killed me. No. <laughs> Up! Michael! What? Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. That's nice to hear from the little brother that worried, had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. I suppose having a giant fire-breathing monster certainly assists in navigating through fog. Well, chap's just fine. All of you had fainted by the time I found you here. Man. <laughs> Zashin's just like, basically sprayed us with toxic gas. <laughs> but took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. Yeah, well, that's nice. He's not mad. So, it's considerate of us. Is the Wooloo's all right? Yeah, Michael? Oh, we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least that wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They, they seemed to pass right through it. The moves passed through it. Oh, you saw a ghost. <laughs> they actually illusions? It's strong enough, maybe the two of you can be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. I mean, if we did get an earful from Lee. What an experience! <laughs> well, I mean, if we did get scolded and almost died, that was so cool! <laughs> this will make a pretty fine first page of the tale of my legend. Already planning your autobiography, Hop. Honestly, I respect the grind. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to wet chairs now. So go spare. Go spare. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it means, like, get really mad. Um, even worse than Lee just did. Did another buddy show up? There was only one before. I'm up! I have to go! Well, now, is it Score Bunny just a sweetheart? Yeah, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Okay, so we're in Postwick. And the next one is Wedgehurst. Bit of pocket money for your journey. Oh, thank you for your hospitality. Buy yourself a little something-something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. And this score money will battle to the very end for you, so don't you go pushing the deer too hard. It's not a deer, it's a bunny! Uh-huh. Look after my little Michael. Come home to rest anytime you need it. After all, east or west, home is best. Oh. I guess this is the door to my mom's room, or is that just the back door to the house? Mother, where do you sleep? I guess this is another... Either that leads to the backyard. That must just lead to her room. At least I certainly hope. Uh, am I going to customize myself? Oh, of course. This game is so pretty. Alright, I want Pokeballs. Alright, cool. I don't know how you get the Pikachu or Eevee, but... Cool. I'm not going to use this. That's the lab. Well, where do I get Pokeballs? Do I, have, do I just have to go buy some? 
Wait, there's an exclamation point. Oh, I have Pokeballs. I can catch great creatures now. Rookie! Yes. It's got a nerve. All right, do I want a nerve or pressure? It's a girl. You know what? I'll catch several and I'll just pick the one that has the best nature. That's what I tend to do. That did quite a m more than I thought. Don't you dare crit. Alright, we're good. Power trip? What the heck is that? Is that a new move or is that just one I've never seen before? You guys will just find that out as I go. Yes. They don't show natures because you can change them. I mean, I can still just look at what it says, like in the. Uh... I can just look at what stats are affected, you know? Alright, calling it Nosedive. Came up with that name, because that's pretty cool, you know. Pokemon. Summary. Speed lowering? Eh. Try, try and find a couple more before I decide on the final nosedive. Squovet. We'll catch... God, I love Rookie D. Can we talk about how cute this Pokemon is? Also, it is pure flying type, right? Like, that wasn't a lie in the leaks. Because <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, boy. I'm just gonna call them all nosedive so that I, like, the one I want is correctly designated with the name I want. Okay, I thought that was about to break out. <laughs> I was about to be very upset. I only have five Pokeballs. Yeah, wildfire! Ooh, quick attack. That's nice. Another rookie D. Come here. Come here. Wildfire. Are the games worth it so far? I mean, I have only played, like, I have played very little, uh, but I am certain I'm going to enjoy the game. Ooh, that did a lot. Uh oh. Okay. Gotta be careful. I don't have to go to my bag for the Pokeball, just hit X when in battle. Okay, good to know. Thank you for that tip. I did not know that. Alright, let's just... We, we just need to go heal, okay? Whoa, Charizard just materialized. Are you seriously not gonna let me... Man, my team is hurt. I need the Pokemon Center. Watch just this garbage. You know what? Let's just let's just do this. Hopefully, no one attacks me. Oh, this lab is beautiful. I love like big wooden libraries. You know, gotta give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything here, everything in here looks fascinating. A wark. <gasps> who is barking? <gasps> Ginger. Those of you who watch Pokemon Seven streams know who Ginger is. What a cute yamper. How does it today, Leon? A friend found another never forcing super strong Pokemon. <gasps> I ship it immediately. I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yamper. <laughs> Yamper <laughs> completely ignoring her. Ooh, playing hard to get, I see, Leon. And that's his trainer, Sonya. What can I say about Sonya? Well, I like the way she cooks. What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Leon, is that... That seems a little sexist, maybe. 
<laughs> what kind of an introduction is that? Your favorite thing about me is that I make good food? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? Of course you didn't forget, you're just saying that to inform me. What up, Sonya? Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonya, I'm the professor's assistant. This is Michael, he's the new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? Ah, what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds, it's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. What's up, Rotom phone? Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? You've got a map and a navigation tool. Excuse me. That's it, Leon gets lost. He still gets lost, so he's kind of an idiot. Oh, sorry, so tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Yeah. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Would you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Oh, she doesn't live at the lab. That's weird. I mean, I suppose it's good that they separate their... Hey, look at that. Dynamax diagram of that Charizard. It's fun. This lab is really cool. I love the, like, super aesthetically pleasing labs. I want this lab. Can I have this lab? I will purchase it from you. We're having plant lunch. Fun. Yamp, yamp. <gasps> A breakfast nook. I need this lab. This is, this is absolutely gorgeous. That's what I, uh, can I just, like, not do the Pokemon journey and just be a Pokemon researcher in this lab instead? Well, almost. You're explaining me, okay. Alright, we're gonna mash through this part, because I bet you've never been inside one. I mean, not a Galar one, but I have been in probably, like, thousands of Pokemon centers. <laughs> Level with me, Michael. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. <laughs> yes, I'm glad they let me give that option. I don't need that. I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. Skipping tutorials. Let's go. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers. I'm already good to go, though. And a route too, Michael. Come find me, maybe when you're done here. Money. Oh look, NDD. Get out of my laboratory. That looks so cool. <laughs> All right, I need more Pokeballs. Uh-oh. Why can I not buy more Pokeballs? I've already used all of mine. <laughs> oh, this is the name Raider. Uh... Let's poke around this town. What is it called? Ooh. <gasps> Clothing! The most important part of the game. Hello, man. Ooh! How much money do I have? Oh, these aren't that expensive. That's good. Oh, stop going by two at a time. Navy top is tasteful. The striped, ooh, the striped ones aren't bad. That shuckle is amazing. Ooh, that's right, overwear. That is substantially more expensive. Ooh, the red pants matching with the red shuckle. That's kind of tempting. Yeah, I think this is good. Onward. Oh, an item. I don't actually think I've ever used a Poke Doll in my entire life. All right, let's just keep going. So he'll give me Pokeballs. The gym challenge, man. I know what this is. I've watched the trailers. All right, so we need Leon's endorsement and he doesn't want to give it to us. Yet. He's not convinced that we're not going to die. <laughs> you will need Pokedolls in the wild area. Oh, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Oh, look, you can see it down there. That's so cool. 
great. We're on route two, and I don't have any more Pokeballs. If I find a shiny, I'm going to... Wait. Is he going to give you one? <gasps> He's giving us Pokeballs now! I think... All right, so because I caught Pokemon on Route 1, I'm skipping this tutorial, it seems. So that's nice. Yee. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Hey, the fox thing! But we're still going to catch another Rookie D. I want the best one possible. We're gonna be like Paul, all right? Oh my god, why do they keep giving me attack-lowering ones? Give me one with a decent nature. Nick it! Nick it in the bud. No, that's nip it. Man, what is its tail doing? Its tail looks like uh, one of those, like, the fairy fountains in Breath of the Wild, but while it's still closed up. You know, I can change their natures later, right? Yeah, that's true, but I don't know when that is. So I'm like, in the meantime, kind of wanting to make sure I get a good one, you know? You know what? Screw it. Good enough for me. <laughs> Special defense is lowered. Not ideal. But at least... It's got an attack boosting nature that doesn't lower speed. So I'm gonna run back and heal it up. Cause I can. What's the mystery? I must say, the uh Ooh! I'm glad I clicked on that! A new Pokemon! You think Peckle Oko? We will test this Pokemon's worthiness. Rude. Oh yeah, blip bug. I did, and yep, I forgot about the shortcutting in. I've been conditioned for from the last 20 years of Pokemon, guys. <laughs> ah, nah. If I change my mind, I can always change it later. I missed the rock with the item, the TM. What? By the stairs? Oh. That's not a TM, but, you know, it's something. What is this? Oh! Chuto! It's this early in the game? This is incredible! I wanted to use a Dreadnought. Man, I just... I'm not progressing. Catching too many Pokemon. Look at that ridiculous eyebrow. <laughs> All right, Chewtle! Do you get healed after every main battle? I think you get healed after every gym battle, if that's what you mean by a main battle. You using Dredna on your final team? Yeah, I, I wanted to. Either Dredna or, uh... Barrascuta. But I'm kind of leaning more towards Dreadnought because I, like, already have it, you know? Lockjaw. Ugh, why does this game keep giving me terrible natures? Ah, uh, that's so frustrating. Well, let's hope another one shows up. I can't use one that has an attack-lowering nature, and I don't know when I get access to the mints, you know? Purloin. Oh. 
cool. Alright. Heck. I could do the Hone Claws and then Power Trick, but I'm not really sure that's logical. Good luck, Nosedive. Man, I didn't even get a level from this guy. Garbage. Garbage. What is the secret? Oh, Rookie D, it's fine. Another Toodle. All right, please be better than the other one. Because the other one's nature was so bad. <laughs> please have not a terrible nature. Please have not a terrible nature. Ah, it doesn't even have strong jaw. I want strong jaw. This is not going to be as easy as I'd hoped. I need to move them. What is this? Oh, a yamper. Hello. Add you to the team. Oh, wait. Oh, God. We need to not fight an electric type of the flying type. Oh, no. Man, a guaranteed paralysis move this early? Everything is garbage. You find something you care about. That being my score bunny without paralysis. I just take it. Nope, I'm gonna use the shortcut. I did it. I remembered. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Fantabulous. We'll add it to the party because the nuzzle could come in handy if I'm trying to catch something. We'll just box, like, naked, I guess. Oh, Galarian Zigzag! Come here. Come here. I have to catch everything. I also need a trip to a Pokemon Center because I've been spending so much time in battles. <laughs> Catch up, you know. Look, there's the professor! So have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... <laughs> Damn me, I'm sorry I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. Okay. There are items right in the back of her house. Yeah, somebody mentioned that. I'll have to wait till after this cutscene's over to do that. Oh dear, I see Wulu has made some new friends. You must be Michael. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it completed in no time. <clears throat> you must al already know about Dynamaxing, right, Michael? Professor Magnolia's been doing research into the phenomenon for years and years, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamax into the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like what? Oh, actually she provided a suggestion. How many different types of tea there are? Three. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Bob and Michael only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That's precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. <clears throat> oh, you trying to take a poop there, Hop? 
Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. Don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Oh, I gotta fight him again. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Michael. Okay. Hurry up, Michael. You gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is, and to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Let's fight! 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 Am I streaming tomorrow, too? I plan to stream a lot. <laughs> Most days, if not every day. For a good long while. I see you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. This music is so fun. Sounds like I should be playing Mario Kart. Hey, Musica and F. Mendes, thank you so much for subbing, guys. Really appreciate that. All right. Heck times 1.5 is 15 plus 2.5. Let's see if it moves faster. Nope, we outspeed, okay. So, Tackle is stronger, or uh, Peck is stronger. I thought that, uh, I thought the, I thought it might outspeed, so. There we go. See you, Wolo. Very nice. Here's the Grookey. I'm excited to see what his third one is. I wonder if it's one that's like gonna be available around here, if it's gonna be like a totally random one. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. Fool, I've known them for years. Way to go, nosedive. It'll be a close one. Man, you haven't taken out any of my Pokemon. Ooh, he's got a rookie D2. We are both too nervous to eat berries. An epic bird battle. Where we just peck at each other. All right, no problem. Oh my goodness, 1,500 bits from Jadaji. Glad to hear you'll be streaming more Mikey. Can't wait to catch more streams, so we're gonna head out and play Shield myself now. See you all soon. Jadaji, thank you so much for that very generous cheer. That's the biggest cheer of the day. I totally understand you wanting to play the game yourself before you watch me play it. So enjoy that, man. Thank you so much for the bits. I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. Sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, huh? Michael Hop, well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. A letter of endorsement. You put the letter of endorsement in your bag's key items pocket. Cool. Yes! Thanks, Lee! I'm sorry I'm gonna win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Ignore that, please. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that nonsense, but it seems you've really grown a bit, little brother. I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Michael. All right, then we're gonna train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's what?
What the heck? Was that? How incredibly convenient, what a... They're wishing stars! What? It said that your dream comes true if you... Oh, this is the Dynamax item? That's how we get it? It falls from the sky? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? This is the funniest, like, explanation for us getting the magic item I've ever seen. They fall from the sky. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They're one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region. I won't do anything for you in that state. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Uh, okay, so she's gonna turn him into the... the... the bands. You wanna save your energy for tomorrow's journey? Oh, okay, we're gonna go to bed now. Yes. Oh, hey, girl! Hey, you lot, why, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy cuisines. Ooh, yummy, yummy. A trendy cuisine. How lovely. It's morning at last. Time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? This is weird heavy fog. It's weird. Tell, tell her it looked like a... Well, I guess we can't tell her it looks like a dog because there are no dogs in this world. There are only Pokemon that look like dogs. Dynamax bands. Cool. Sweet. There are a number of conditions you must meet. I wonder what those conditions are. I know it only lets you do it in certain places. What is this? Oh, it's a... It's because Jubilee's playing nearby. I've got a little thing on screen for her, her doing something, that's nice. 